So should you buy an academic gown, hood, and cap? That's academic regalia, which you would wear for a procession. Um, every year I participate in our convocated students um, convocation ceremony. Um, and being a part of that means that you are part of the academic procession. So you're coming in with the chancellor, vice chancellor, professors, uh, the honorary doctorate, um, everyone who is part of the administrative and faculty and staff of the university could be a part of the academic procession. Um, so when you are a part of that, you would wear your academic regalia of your highest degree. So I would wear my doctorate regalia with the doctorate cap and the doctorate hood. I have never purchased these items. I've always rented um, because you can rent at every convocation ceremony or graduation ceremony, along with the graduates that are renting their gowns um, and hoods, you can actually rent your academic regalia. You just have to make sure you specify that it is for the, facu the faculty academic procession. Um, and then you choose you know, what university you uh, got your highest degree from, and then you get the correct robe for yourself. Um, so I always rent. Uh, I've attended over 10 of them now, and um, maybe the rental is about $50 to $70 every time, depending on the, whether I rent the gown and the hood. I don't always rent the hat because that gets to be very costly as well. I don't know after doing this for over 10 years if I probably have paid for a gown. So I remember when I graduated, I had contemplated whether I should just buy myself a gown because I knew um, I wanted to be part of academic life and academia was for me. Um, so I contemplated whether to buy it and it could cost almost a thousand dollars. The gown itself is about five hundred dollars or more. The cap is about a hundred and fifty dollars or more um, and then the hood is also about $150 or more. And so the hood is just that piece that goes across and then drapes down your back. And it's usually the colors of you, of the university. Your cap or your, um, the doctorate cap or the graduation cap, depending on if you got your master's, um, you might be part of the academic procession as well, um, is, has different shapes, it depends. The doctorate cap is kind of medieval looking um, and like large, uh, but it's very cool. And um, and then, of course, the gown. And the gown can be very different depending on uh, what university that you had. So I've never, I didn't buy it. Um, I don't know if I would. Uh, this video is telling you that it's something to consider um, once you do graduate and you plan on doing your um, teaching within the university and, of course, continuing on in a tenure track or doing research or even doing sessional lecturing or um, limited term appointments. Um, as well because you are um, connected with your students, you are with them doing research, doing uh, teaching them courses, so you may want to see them graduate. Um, and that is such a fulfilling and incredible moment and I absolutely love that this day. Actually, I'm getting ready to go to one myself this evening. Um, so it is a wonderful moment for you to see your students um, move from this place where they first came in as graduate students, fresh with ideas, ready to learn and to have those conversations about scholarship and then move into a place where they're almost at par with you. Um, they have their PhD um, and now they, or their doctorate, um, and now they are moving on into the next realm of academic life and it's wonderful to see them in that moment so you you do want to be there of course you can't participate if you don't have your gown you have to look the part um, so uh, so that's something to consider whether you decide to buy one it can cost up to a thousand dollars or if you decide you can rent every year as well like I said I didn't buy one at the time when I graduated um, I had other expenses I had two mortgages, um, the condo that I was always living in and then our, the home that me and my partner had purchased um, as well. So think it was spending almost a thousand dollars on that was uh, not on you know a high priority list for me at that moment. Um, so maybe something that I might do in the future, um, considering that this is I have been in this life, this academic life for such a long time. So think about that, consider that. Um, when you graduate, if you wanna buy your academic regalia, you can of course wear it on the day that you graduate and be rest assured that you'll probably wear it every single year um, uh, as your students convocate at your university um, 
for as long as you are in, in that realm, in that world, in the academic uh, world. All right, well, good luck and happy shopping if you decide to get that gown, hood, and your cap.